So in the last video, we looked at how to import uh, a JSON file and read it and create a JSON uh, object. In this video, we're going to start working with JSON files a little bit more uh, nuanced, uh, Lee, a little differently. We're going to be creating a JSON file. And the way in which we do this in Python, this is the Pythonic way to do it, is we create a function for doing that. So we're going to name this function write uh, JSON. And what we're going to do is we're going to have two uh, key pieces of information, two arguments that we want to pass in. The first one's the data that we want to uh, pass in. That That's going to be the data that we want to see loaded into the JSON file. And the other thing that we're going to do is we're going to look at, um, at pass in what we want this JSON file to be called. So I'm just going to call it, uh, let's call it new uh, JSON data.json. Make it a little extra long and unnecessarily uh, complicated. Uh, so we're going to say with open, once again, we're going to use that with uh, open operator. We're going to pass in file, Ooh, helps if I spell it correctly, file name. And this time we're going to pass in W, which is going to allow us to write to that JSON file. We're going to open it up simply as F for right now. And we're going to say JSON, and this is the key piece of information, dot dump. And what this is going to do is it's going to allow us to pass in all of our data and actually create, um, create, dump that data into a JSON file. And one thing that's nice to kind of do so that your JSON file is a bit more legible is to pass in this other argument. It's indent, and it's going to take an integer. Uh, it'll set the number of indentations that you see. So here we see a four indentation. I find this to be the most legible, and that's going to set the amount of times that it indents for each of these uh, hierarchical nested uh, pieces of information. So once we do that, now we can stick with this original script we wrote, and instead of reading and parsing all that data, we're simply gonna uh, do call our function, write JSON, and we're gonna pass in um, data. And what that's going to do is it's gonna pass the data into this function, which is then going to pass it uh, into a JSON dump, and it's gonna create a new file over here. Uh, so it's gonna be called this. So when we run this, we should see it, and we've got a problem. What did we do wrong? Um, hmm. Jason. Ah. There we go. That should do it. Now what you have to do, what I forgot to do before was to actually pass in where we wanted to dump that information so it didn't know where to where to actually create it or where to pass it. Now that we've done that, now we will see that our file over here looks identical to our original file which was uh, this one right here. These are now very similar, or actually identical, because we passed in that information. So this is how you create a JSON file and pass in data to it. Now we can do this with anything. Let's say we want to have a completely different data structure. So we're just going to close this out, and we're going to say the data is equal to, we're just going to make a simple list right now. Uh, we're going to say Bob and Cindy. So now when we do the same information, now we should see a completely different uh, JSON file. And see, you see it right here. It's loaded in that list, Bob and Cindy, and indented it quite nicely. Uh, so that's how you can pass in really kind of any data into a JSON file. I encourage you to experiment with this, play with it. Um, it's a great way to store data long term that you are working with in a script. I typically use JSON files for storing a whole bunch of metadata on uh, letters, on people, uh, things of that nature, uh, things that are uh, much more efficiently handled in JSON files than, let's say, an XML, which is going to be a bit more uh, cumbersome for Python. So that's all for this video. I have another video on uh, JSON files in which I show you how to read a JSON file and add data to it. And I'll put that in the, uh, the next video in this playlist. So that's all for now. Thank you for listening.